It was a very hot summer day. I was at my PPE. It was an orange cloth. We had the radio sets on. And as I was walking through the plant, I could hear an alarm sound in the background. And that's not just one alarm, it was multiple alarms that went off. And moments later, I heard a radio call that says, evacuate, evacuate, evacuate. Uh, it was quite a tense moment. There were about 300 people on site at that point in time. And just a few weeks ago, I had written an emergency response and evacuation procedure for the site. That was the best time to put that into real use. So all my leadership skills were to be tested in the next few moments and how it all unfolds. So as part of the evacuation, I rushed back to the central control room and it was a picture perfect uh, procedural being rolled out. We had comms team, we had emergency responders who were on the standby, and then we have the process CCR controllers who are looking at it from a process angle to isolate the feed and to get the gas cloud under control. And then we had a communications team talking to the management on the unfolding of the crisis, what the head counts and things like that. So we were assessing the situation. There was a whole pile of activities going on. And then I hear a very calm and a composed voice. MV604, can you confirm if it's in a closed position? Mark, my, and Mark from the CCR, who was the CCR operator behind whom I was standing, said, all good to go, Mike, perfectly fine, it's closed. We've got the gas cloud under control. And the feeling I got was that it was a seamless textbook process that was unfolding right in front of my eyes. So let's think for a moment if this had never happened. That's a scary thought. It could have been a fire. It could have been an explosion. My friend would not have gone back home if this had not succeeded. And there's no second chance in life. There's only one chance that you get. So the Leadership message here is every one of you in the organization is a leader. You've got to plan your re scenarios, you've got to rehearse your scenarios, you've got to be trained and competent, and then you need to communicate all aspects of emergencies during a crisis. And main, m importantly, keep calm and carry on.